Hey there folks, and welcome to a, another extra episode of Groovy Geeky, where I am doing a nice little review of the Winter 2018 Hyper Japan Festival at Kensington Olympia, which ran from Friday the 16th of November through to Sunday the 18th. Like with everyone else, I did a lot of shopping and enjoyed some really, really nice food there. Like, Japanese food is really, really tasty. But I did mostly hang around the stage area to see the acts perform and listen to the music, and it was really, really fun and interesting. The highlight, as with the summer festival, was Hibiki Ichikara with DJ Takaki, who combined traditional shamisen Japanese music with more DJ style electro stuff, and it was really cool, really fun. I listened to those both times that they were playing, and just really enjoyed it. And Mutant Monster, that returned from last year's Christmas show, they were really good as well, they were, they were much better this time, like their songs felt better crafted, so it's nice that they're finding their own unique voice and look forward to hearing what they can come up with in the future. Another highlight was Nao Masaoka. She is quite a famous singer in Japan, a star of one of their like types of theatre called the Takaratsuka Review, oh god I hope I said that right, and she had just has this amazing operatic voice. Talking of operatic voices, the, uh, god how do I say this, Utaniwa Kolabo, which combined opera singing with live gardening, and yeah that was interesting. Other acts include Xmas Eileen, who sound exactly like the kind of music you'd get in the early 2000s new metal period, and Banzai Japan, who are an idol group who are trying to represent the different prefectures of Japan with each of the girls coming from a different area. There was a very very interesting talk by uh, Mr. Kamada from the CG Anime Contest, who talked about like how he developed a system for computer-generated anime, and someone asked the question, so he gave a really, really insightful answer about the state of the anime industry at the moment and the effects that computer, sort of computer-generated cartoons are having on it. So it's really, really interesting to like listen to that as a fan of animation. For me, like personally, a highlight was getting to meet Yuji Kaida, who is an official Godzilla artist, an Ultraman artist, and so I got a few signed prints from him. He did have a book for sale, but it was way outside my price range, but getting a couple of signed prints just from him was really, you know, really made me happy. There was the usual cos parade and cos test where people just showed off their amazing cosplays and it's always fun to see that. There was a fashion show, well there was like a couple of fashion shows, which again, like it's really interesting to see the different styles of clothing that people can come up with. And another highlight on the stage was, oh god how could I have forgot these, Shunmu Tomokogami, who are two guys and a girl, and then there's someone else, an artist backstage who designed it, and they do sword fights and dance to music and stuff, and they're really cool, really entertaining, really charismatic. They were really fun too. Like last time I didn't really go to the theatre to see the screenings, which a bit of a shame, but you only have so much time. And... There was rugby on, I mean, if you like rugby, I think three or four people in the audience did, but most people like me just went there because that was the only time during the day that you could get beer, which was strange, but I think it's because it was at the Grand Hall this time and not the other halls, so they were like limited in what they could do. There was also a sake experience where you could taste various like brands of sake, but I didn't go for that, that was 
bit expensive for me. And there was a ramen sort of testing, tasting thing as well, but again, I didn't go for that. I just go for the basic tickets and yeah, but anyway, I got a really good haul. I said, hey, yeah. Well, I've got some signed prints by an artist I really love, so yeah, that is, I'd consider that a good haul. Um, there, were, there, there was actually a Godzilla figure for sale this time, hooray! But it's one I've already got. It's like, oh. So that was a bit, a bit gutting, and of course, lots of Kamen Rider and Super Sentai Ranger stuff. But no Ultraman stuff. Again, annoying. Come on, Hyper Japan, you can you can do it. Just next time, next summer, Ultraman stuff. Or maybe at least even Gridman, because like Gridman's a massively popular anime now. I say now, it's like it's it's just started and it's just really popular. Because it's amazing. So yeah. All in all, Hyper Japan, good time. And I yeah, I'll definitely go to the next time and probably time after that, and so on and so on, because I have a fun time each time I go. I've been to three of them now. And I'll catch you next time on Groovy Geeky for some more groovy, possibly geeky action. Bye! Thanks for watching this episode. If you'd like to see more episodes, on cool, groovy, geeky, gamey, musicy stuff, then subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And if you want to be a groovy cat, leave a comment and a like, and I'll love you. Bye!